you're listening to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm Shannon Register, and today we are talking about seasonal home staging. You hear about home staging a lot. It's a great thing to do when you want to sell your home and make it appeal to the most buyers, the most amount of buyers. So I've got Barb Shores joining me. She was here last segment. She is from Seattle, Washington, and she is Skyping in to talk to us about seasonal staging on the inside of your home. And Barb is the mother of home staging. We refer to her that way because she came up with the ASP uh, home staging designation. It is um, offered to realtors through the National Association of Realtors. It's uh, a home staging designation that you're going to want your realtor to have when they go to sell your home. So make sure you ask about that because they can help you get your home ready to sell. And Barb, a lot of people need help selling their homes, don't they? Yes, they do. (laughs) So let's talk about this uh, seasonal staging of the inside of the home because, you know, one of the hardest things for sellers is selling during the Christmas and holiday season, really during the whole holiday season from October through December if they've got small children because if you've got small children, you want to decorate for the holidays. You don't want them to miss out on that just because this year you're selling your home. Well, we're going to change that to staging for the holidays and there's so many fun things that can be done and the first tip is to use nature inside I love nature you're gonna we're gonna talk about it see things about it use creative containers it doesn't have to be just the same old vase and repurpose things less is more and have fun I like it. I like the repurposing containers because you don't have to go buy a vase. You don't have to go buy a container. Look around your house. And you know what I think? Sometimes you need to bring in somebody else to look around your house because I go in people's houses and and they have been looking at the same thing in their living room so long, they don't even realize that that would look really good in another room. You know, they just don't see it. So sometimes you need an outside eye to come in and go, oh, you could take this and do this and do that. And I know you're great at that, Barb. So tell us some of your ideas that you have? Well, some of the ones that we're going to talk about and show are on my Pinterest page under Staging for the Holidays. Okay. And some are on Google Images, and each gives credit to whoever did the idea. When we talk about the holidays, we can even start with Valentine's. So when you take a twig and hang Valentine's on it, whether they're felt or paper, it gives a real spin on it and it's really cute and that can hang on the wall, it could be above a child's bed or it could be in vases in the living room. And these aren't like your paper, you know, um, Spongebob Valentines. These are like Valentines that you make either with paper or with fabric, something that you're making, make it really creative, right? Exactly. It's all about the creativity. And, you know, flowers are great to bring into the home. The problem I have with flowers is they just don't last long enough. Do you think that people should continue to bring in flowers, or do you think you should use some fake flowers and mix it with some nice greenery? What do you think? Well, one of the things I do is, let's say I buy a bouquet of flowers. Mm -hmm. I don't just put it in the vase by itself. I'm going to go outside in the garden and clip some extra greenery and twigs. And right now on my coffee table, I have lilies that are real, and then I have faux flowers that are silk and some natural twigs. So when the lilies die, I can just pull them out. Mm -hmm. And the containers, you know, it could be like a can or a bucket. I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, you can mix all kinds of greenery and nature with it. And that helps fill it up, make it much look more professional and then you can pull out the flowers as they die. I think one of the things that some people that sometimes people forget to do is when you put flowers in the vase they're going up it's it's very vertical very up and down put something that comes out and drops down a little bit too right put some other things that drop down same when you're planting plants put some other things that drop around the vase or around the pot right? right Traditionally, that's a great idea. And also, when you, let's say for Thanksgiving or Halloween, that you put twigs in a large vase that you cut from outdoors, you can fill up the inside with beads or with kidney beans or, you know, we have... Acorns. My kids collect acorns. (laughs) I love those. And also little pumpkins make a great you know, thing to have as filler around the twigs. It's really fun to do. 
I like um, I like where you take uh, leaves and put them around the outside of glasses just to kind of decorate them. I like that. And use some, some uh, raffia and tie them up. I like that idea a lot. Yeah, it really adds interest. And you can have them either sprinkled on the dining room table or you can put them on the inside of the container when it's visible and put them on the outside, like you said, of the inside and then put... You know, it could be apples, they could be faux, they could be real, they could be uh, leaves, you know, twigs, flowers, all kinds of ideas. We even have a picture where there are acorns in the bottom and then a, you know, decorative uh, flower arrangement in the top. But do you know what's in the bottom is dog food. Oh, my. That's right? <laughs> 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 Dry dog food in the bottom of the container. Okay, that's interesting. Could, I like it. Yeah, or it could be pebbles. I'd I mean, have to use cat food because I, I have a cat. So, um, Barb, when you're decorating uh, tables and things for the holidays, what do you think about the fake snow? Can you use that still, or is that not appropriate? Well, it depends on how it's used. And so, you know, spraying all the windows with it, especially when you're selling your house, is too not, much. Not a good idea windows mm -hmm. and of course they make cloth that looks like faux snow right. that could be put around the bottom mm -hmm. and so whether they're vases glasses the buckets we talked about uh, whether you put fruit in them whether it's real or faux and nature 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 so even having the smaller cypress trees you could have those in a container like galvanized um, metal all year round and then put things on that for the holidays. These uh, twigs that you use in the, in, the, in the vases, what kind of twigs are those? What are those from? Are those purchased fake or are those actual twigs? Well, I really like to use the real twigs. And you know, some people might say, well, we don't have them. Well, let's think outside the box because even if you take the leaves off, most trees at the end of the branches have some in interesting twigs. Now, willow is really great. However, it doesn't have to be willow. I just like straight sticks. And you know they sell them even at the grocery store. And Pier 1, people make a lot of money selling sticks. <laughs> so instead of buying them, just go outside and clip what you have. And if you want to, take all the leaves off. I like the... Um using the ornaments the decorative ornaments now for decorating and I think the reason you can do that now is because they don't break so easily you know used to you had to be so careful with them because they broke they were the blown glass and they broke now you can get them and, and they look beautiful and they're just plastic you know covered in, in glitter and they just look really nice but they're not breakable which is great for children right. so you can actually decorate right. with them I find the best ones at um, Walmart, and they have great collections of them and all kinds of colors. And some have glitter and some don't. And yet, you drop them just like you said; they don't break. Mm -hmm. What do you think about white Christmas trees versus green Christmas trees? What should we do when we're selling, or should we yeah. do no Christmas tree? The, in, uh, Christmas trees are good. Holiday trees, Christmas trees. It's just how it's done. And in the next segment, uh, we're going to look at several trees, and I'll point out which one I think is overdone. And it less is more. And depending on the color scheme of the house, traditionally green is the best, whether it's faux or whether it's real. And yet, let's say that it's Palm Desert or Palm Springs, and they have really bright colors on the inside and they want to use a white one, mm -hmm. appropriately that would work too. Okay, so it kind of depends on where you are, what's appropriate. Right. All right, very good. All right, great staging tips for the inside of the home when you're trying to sell in the holidays because you still want to be able to decorate and enjoy it with the family. So it's some great tips, Barb. Barb Schwartz, she is Skyping in from Seattle, Washington. If you have a real estate question, call us 281-882-8088 and we'll answer it right here on the air for you here on Houston Real Estate Radio.